Rack them. All right, it's time for the counter. It's kind of time for the uh, counter argument or the argument rebuttal section. We'll start with Otto Hahn. Otto Hahn, do you have anything to say? Um, either questions asked John Dalton or case making your case uh, that John Dalton is not the coolest chemist, or you can add to Otto Hahn's legacy. Um, well, I was trying to find anything bad that uh, John Dalton did, and he literally did nothing. Like he was just a plain, normal guy. Like he wasn't. You know, he wasn't very cool. He just literally did nothing. I don't know if he even left his house. There was like Daltonism Ooh. and his atomic theory, and that was basically all there is to him. So uh, it's not that he did anything bad. It's just I don't really know if he got out and talked to people. He seemed like a recluse. Got an answer, John Dalton? Um, no, I don't. All right. Do you have anything you want to share about Otto Hahn to make him look not cool? Okay. So. Um, when he was doing his research with nuclear, fit, with nuclear uh, chemistry, which he was doing for the Germans, because he was a Nazi. But anyways, when he was doing it, he had a female assistant, which he did not include in any of his work. Well, like, he did not recognize her that she did anything good. So he pretty much took credit for all of that, even though she helped him with a lot of it. Answer, Otto? So, for the Nazi comment, again, he he was part of World War One, not World War Two, so he wasn't a Nazi. Everything that he discovered was prior to World War Two, and he was awarded the Nobel Prize, which I didn't think was going to go to a Nazi. Um, for Meitner, um, so he gave her recognition while they were working together, and then World War Two started, and she was of Jewish descent, and the Nazis were per persecuting them, so she had to flee the country. Now, while he was still continuing his work, he constantly sent her updates and letters on what was happening, and she was still helping him. And after all was said and done, uh, Hahn, Meitner, and Strassman all were awarded the Enrico Fermi Award, so she was recognized for her work. They shared the work together. He didn't discredit her or take anything. He um, made sure she was included even when she wasn't in Germany and while she was being persecuted and she was awarded eventually after everything was cleared up. Alright, thank you very much gentlemen. Thank you very much. Anything that you want to add, Otto Hahn? Anything else? Anything you want to add, John Dalton? Alright, thank you so very much.